Everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing on the Stakesville Saturday afternoon, April the 27th. This is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to beautiful Belmont Park first for one of two stake races on the card this afternoon. Race 4, 2.26 p.m. Eastern Post Time for the Tweetside Stakes. Mild test on the turf. Three-year-old fillies racing for $90,000. Contenders number 5, Riverboat Queen. Number 4, Bella Costini. Number one, Pink Trillium, and number six, Ali Dorable. Number five, Riverboat Queen, the overall speed and pace profile leader in the stakes field, racing at this afternoon's distance of a mile on the turf, has hit the board in power run fashion in both of her last two outings, including a power run win to break her maiden her last time out. Number four, Bella Costini, take also has a nice pace profile, and like my top pick, comes off a power run win to break her respective maiden in her last start. Race 4 summary, number 5, Riverboat Queen, tops my contenders list today here at Belmont Park, which also includes number 4, Bella Castani, number 1, Pink Trillium, and number 6, Ali Dorable, 5416. In the 4th from Belmont Park, the $90,000 Tweetside Stakes. Go to Churchill Downs, opening day, race 10, 1042 p.m. Eastern Post Time, nighttime card here at at Churchill, this is the Derby Trial Stakes, a mile test on the dirt track, grade 3, three-year-olds, racing for $150,000. Contenders number 3, Z Bros, number 4, 40 Tails, number 9, Title Town 5, and number 1, Officer Alex. Number 3, Z Bros, has hit the board in power run fashion in both of his two career starts to date, including a maiden-breaking power run win in his last start. Jockey Mike Smith and trainer Bob Baffert sent him to the post for the opening night feature. They fit the board with 61% of their entries saddled as a team to date. Number 4, 40 Tails, is at the board in three of his four career starts to date, winning twice, including a power run win in his third race back. Race 10 summary, number 3, Z Bros, tops my contenders list tonight here at uh, Charlestown, which also includes number 4, 40 Tails, number 9, Title Town 5, and number 1, A Officer Alex. That's 3, 4, 9, 1 in the 10th from Churchill, the $150,000 Derby Trial Stakes. Let's go to Maryland's Pimlico race course next for race 8 on the card, 4.50 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Shine Again Stakes. Eight and a half furlongs on the dirt. Phillies and mares, three years old and up. Race for a stakes prize of some $50,000. Contenders number four, Touch the Birds. Number seven, Daydream and Gracie. Number eight, Smart Tory. And number two, Celtic Kate. Number four, Touch the Birds, takes an 11 unit Trackmaster class drop. The overall speed leader in the stakes field, racing at or about today's distance of eight and a half furlongs on the dirt, has hit the board in power run fashion in three straight, including a power run win in her third race back. Jockey Forrest Bryce has been in her irons on four previous occasions, hitting the board in each, winning twice en route to a 270% return on investment in the process. Back today for ride number five. Number seven, Daydream and Gracie has hit the board in four of her last five, winning three times, including a power a pair of power run wins being embedded in this recent streak of racing consistency. Race eight summary number four, Touch the Birds, tops my contenders list today here at Pimlico, which also includes number seven, Daydream and Gracie, number eight, Smart Tory, and number two, Celtic Katie. Four, seven, eight, three, and the eighth from Pimlico, the $50,000. Shine again, stakes. Bonus long shots, Atlantic City race course holding their turf festival this week. Race three, the 10 to 1 bomb, number 10, SS Skittles qualifies as a power pony. Drops in class by nine track master units. The overall speed leader in this allowance field racing at today's distance of a mile on the grass has hit the board in power run fashion in three of his last five, including a power run win in his fourth race back. Evangeline Dons in Louisiana, race three, number two, Dixie 45, six to one on the morning line. The speed leader in his maiden field, sprinting at tonight's distance of six furlongs on the dirt, comes off a power run place finish in his last start, missing a maiden breaking circle trip in that last race by less than a length. So from both, excuse me, all of Belmont Park, Pimlico and Churchill Downs on a Stakesville Saturday afternoon. Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.